we will come, we're going to move in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Who puts him in there? He will take, the Holy Ghost will take of Jesus and he will put him in us. If we leave the Holy Ghost out of this, we're gone. Amen? Now, just for the sake here, just a minute. Paul said, verse 28, Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ. Yeah. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to the working which worketh in me madly. Verse, chapter 2, verse 1, For I would that you knew what great conflict I had for you. And so forth and so on. Let's go down in verse 3. In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. And I'm ending it, Brenda, too quick. But right here, I'm a, I've read this down to this part because verse 2, the last part, he said to acknowledge to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God and the Father. And he said, it's, this has been hid, this treasure. And he said, I'm a telling you this, and this I say, because there's a lot of people are beguiling you, trying to tell you different than what this word says. And they are beguiling you with enticing words, and they are trying to lead you away from what this mystery is. Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's what the mystery of his will is. Is Christ in you. He kept that day of head from before the world began. Brenda, that excites me, doesn't it you? That excites me. That it's Christ and Kenneth Gross. That's the hope of glory. There ain't no other hope. There ain't no other hope. It's Christ and Brenda Gross is the hope of glory in her world. Christ, the hope of glory. Yes, sir. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. I guess I'm done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know which one that is. I don't Got a, says a brother here has lung cancer. And he believes by his stripes we're healed. Pray for him. he believes, if you believe that, I'm a believing with you. And we all here will, I'm sure. Because apparently you're born again or you wouldn't be a believing that. Cancer, I curse you in the name of Jesus from this brother's body. You flee out of his body right now in the name of Jesus because Christ in me and in us is the hope of glory for this world and you're healed by the straps of Jesus. We agree with you and you're healed in Jesus name. Amen. Here we've got another lady claiming her healing. Mildred Owens is claiming her healing. We appreciate that. God appreciates that, don't he? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Mildred Owens is healed by the stripes of Jesus. She's claimed it, latched a hold of it, so she's healed. You're healed by the stripes of Jesus. Here's a Parker. Got a hole in the abdomen wall. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, Father, for a creative miracle to come out of me right now from the throne of grace by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name to mend that hole up because by the straps of Jesus, you're healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pronounce that to be took care of, a miracle done in Jesus' name. It says Loretta and Erica need a touch from the Lord. Praise the Lord. Whatever touch you need, just get in there in the Word and get it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Receive it from the Word. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. No way. It's the Word, ain't it? It's the Word. When He says that we're healed, we're healed. 
If we've got a lonely day and we are fighting depression, then the joy of the Lord is my strength. This morning, I might be going a little long. This morning, Brenda was talking about how that David said, Bless the Lord, oh my soul. You know, he was a talking to his own soul. He wasn't a talking to nobody else. He said, talking to his own soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. So we need to talk to our soul. Tell it. Bless the Lord and don't forget his benefits. Hallelujah. Dorothy needs healed. Dorothy, you are healed. In the name of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus, Dorothy, you are healed and were healed. In Jesus' name. Because Christ in you and in us is his work here on this earth administered and done by the Holy Ghost. Be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you need born again, let's say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive you as my Savior. And I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. And you said, if I do that, I would be saved. So I thank you that I've done it and I'm born again. In Jesus' name. Bring the go ahead. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you'd like to write to us, write to 968 West City Dam Road in Kiwi, Kentucky. That's 968 West City Dam Road in Kiwi, Kentucky. You can put the Gospel Eagles there, WVCT or WVTN, and we'll get it. The zip code is 40737. Until next time, you've heard God's word for today. God bless you.